Jaya, I would like to make another video on the Me Too campaign which is called Why Men Should Listen and Take Action. This is a very crucial and very specific moment in our evolution as a human race because we have all this power you know we are we are have now this massive uh, networking power we are tapping into new tools of communication through social medias there's a whole lot of information that is coming through that and those tools were not available before and so why men should listen and take action it's again it's very very important to actually listen to the hurt listen to the pain that uh, to the harassment, to the, the challenges that women are facing right now. We are one, okay? We are not separate. The, the pain that women, the suffering, the exposure to harassment, to rape, to abuse, to sexual assault, to insecurity that women have been exposed to concerns us all. This is not something that we can label as their problem, not our problem. It belongs to humankind. An aspect of humankind is in pain. It's women. They are us. We are them. We are one unit, one field of energy. Something is hurting. It's important first to take a step back and just listen. Listen to what is being said. It's like you have pain in your body somewhere, your knees hurting, you're going to do something about it. Train, stretch, do some physiotherapy or something. Find solutions. So what's happening right now is like women are calling, voicing, calling for help. Let's do that together. Okay, this is what I hear women say. And it's very important for us as male kind, the men, the guys, we, to just be present to that call. And even if it feels uncomfortable, even if you want to look away and be like, okay, mm, oof, you know, I don't want to hear about it anymore too much. No, 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 that doesn't work, okay? We have to be present because this is what women have been exposed to. So by entering into synergic resonance, by expressing sympathy, present empathy to what these women have been exposed to, this might be your sister, might be your daughter, might be your girlfriend, your wife, friends you work with. Okay, this is touching everything and everybody. It's all over the place. So it's not something that we can pretend doesn't exist any longer. We cannot be in denial. Now it's out there. It's like, what are we going to do about it? What are the actions we are going to take about it? And so you can go into big scale, right? Campaigns influencing other people. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's great. This is coming. But the first place is in yourself. Because it's an important time to do an inner check-in and be like, okay, hmm. Okay, yeah, I can see. Here is the place where I cross a woman's boundary. I can see that my wife sometimes engages into yeah, sexual connection with me when in fact she, she's not really into it. Okay, so you see the places where you are slightly pressing boundaries. You check into your own system and you learn the codes and the values that integrate a higher degree of respect for the feminine. And honestly, it's very possible that you're already there. It's possible that you, when you check in, you check into your behavior, you check into your attitude, your thought process, your emotions, and so on, that you're already impeccable in the way you relate to women. That's possible. Maybe there is an area, a gray area there where you say, okay, that's not really okay, but you know, it's, it's part of my shadow and it's something that I do. I'm not really proud of it. It's not abusive, it's not, intense is not bad but sometimes in my conversations i'm making fun of some of the women's vulnerabilities for instance so my invitation here is do a deep check-in inside of you and it's not about being perfect okay we are humans it means that there is going to be at some point something that you do that you go like oh yeah, I'm sorry, I, was, I responded too fast or I reacted to something that a woman was sharing. It's okay, we are humans, okay? 
but the places, the places, there is a different, different degrees of intensity in what women are exposed to. You know, if you go to a woman and you put your hand on her shoulder, you know, without sexual intention, and she feels offended by that, you go like, oops, okay, sorry. So that's, that's a 5% trigger, okay? Raping a woman is like a 100% trigger. It's like 100%, you know, shadow attack invasion on her system. So there are different degrees of intensity. There are some of them where you go like, okay, I'm human, I have to keep on breathing, moving. At some point, I'm going to do something that some woman might be offended by and her trigger will be a little trigger in the field. Or she might be massively overreacting to something that you did that was not necessarily a big deal, you know? Maybe you are in a club somewhere or in a pub or somewhere in, a, in town or you, you meet somebody in a class and then you go like, hey, hi, I would love to get to know you. And she goes like, fuck off. You know, you go like, well, I just engage in the conversation. And she goes like, yeah, I know exactly what you want. You want to fuck me? And then you are going to, to, to abandon me and say, oh, whoa, 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 you know. So she might be overreactive to something that is not a big deal, like inviting somebody for a conversation or asking somebody out is you know can see uh, can be seen by some women as really invasive but you know within the context of how we live on this planet it's usually something that is like an accepted behavior so it's important to find your truth okay what is it that you are doing that is not okay and what is it that you are doing that is really within the fields of what's acceptable and okay and what is it that you are doing that is really empowering and really positive and really loving for the women that are in in your field you know how do you treat your daughters how do you treat your wife or your partner how do you treat a lover how do you treat your mother okay so this is the place where <laughs> where it can start this is the place check in do a deep check in because before you start influencing other people you have to know yourself you have to understand what, what your dynamics are. And um, if you're not perfect, yes, forgive yourself. Give yourself, you know, some, some credit for the things that you're trying. And it's all a work in progress. You know, as humans, we are not perfect. Okay, there are areas where um, we do certain things that are, you know, sometimes inappropriate or sometimes a little bit out of line. It comes from every single human being. It comes from women as well. It comes from kids. It comes from people in governments. It comes from, you know, different, different things. So in this degree of intensity, identify if there is a place where you are really crossing the line, okay? Where you are doing something that is really not okay. And, you know, check, for instance, a, a very simple check is check with the legal system. Are you doing something that is altogether fucking illegal? Like raping, raping a woman is illegal. It means that you go to jail for something like that. Okay? So my guess is that in the people who are watching this video, most of you are already, you know, you are virtuous. You, are, you have a certain degree of, of values and, and things that you own in your field that are, that are okay. And um, what women are saying is like, you know, the permanent harassment with projection of sexual energy, intense sexual energy projected, the diminishing of, the, the, of, of women, of females, um, the, uh, the harassment, the uh, aggression, the uh, sexual assault, you know, there, is, there are certain things there that they are pointing out to, which are the places where um, they feel um, not safe. They feel like we as men are crossing the line. And so something else that I want to tell you is that don't deflect. Don't deflect this campaign. Don't go like, yeah, but we have this problem too and women sometimes, they, they do that to us too. You know, it's like, okay, yeah, yeah, of course. Life is not perfect. We've got tons of problems. What about the planet? We have to save the planet too. You see, this is deflecting. It's like trying to distract yourself so that you don't look at the, the core issues, so that you don't look at your own dynamics, or we don't look at our own dynamics as a human race, as a male. Oh, you hungry? <laughs> this is life in Bali. Cats and dogs, beautiful. Anyway, you get the message, right? Um, it's, uh, yeah, don't deflect. 
don't try to get distracted exactly like this cat passing by I say, oh my god I'm going to avoid looking at this issue no it's like women are like please 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 just listen listen just take a moment to be present so the the campaign originally was no there was no real blame I didn't perceive blame or aggressive energy it was just women saying uh, here is what I experienced and here is how it makes me feel this is how it feels to be in my skin in my body and um, some of it it uh, it sucks it's not nice we would like to make a call for men to change their behaviors but first it was just voicing it it was just putting it out there which is fantastic because what I notice also in most of the posts that is not finger pointing is not saying my ex did that to me naming or shaming or public shaming this is not what this is about it's like let's voice let's mentioned here is I have an issue in my life and I would love your help with solving that are you in that's as simple as that now in the latest post that I've been seeing over maybe the last week there has been a tendency towards uh, public shaming that has been intensified and uh, so the uh, there are attacks happening towards certain men online that are uh, much more vitriolic you know much more aggressive and um, so there is a, a public shaming element that has been added to it and uh, you know it evolves in whatever way it's supposed to be evolving but uh, if we go back to the original intention which was just voicing well I want to tell you women out there is that I see us I see men in my tribe really being impacted by your stories what you have been sharing and I want to tell you that we are listening my intention when I, I meet you and if you have something to voice about it is to create a safe space where you feel um, safe and, and nurtured with the possibility to, to share whatever is alive in, uh, in your field um, you know something happens that that hurts your feelings or touches you or harasses you and since you know this campaign was large even in personal conversations lots of women have been appearing in my field who are sharing their stories of of traumas and abuse and um, you know basically as a, as a man what I'm doing is simply be present and say yeah I understand it sucks wow it's intense so being there simply listening to what is being said um, but yeah it's you know it's something that is in um, in evolution and, uh, and in um, and in beauty and um, of course this is not the end of the story um, then there is putting in place values actions taking action to actually do something about it which is the next step the first step is like okay we realize that we have a problem or we have a challenge here and we don't have all the solutions we don't really know exactly how to solve it but there is a movement of energy that now is evolving towards taking action and I know that you know dozens maybe uh, you know lots of people are going to engage into this um, into this uh, trend or into this uh, frequency to start actually putting in place actions doing things to to change what has been happening on that level on this planet until now that can involve you know educating teenagers it can involve taking other forms of action uh, creating male groups to, to share what's happening on that level creating more um, you know couple dynamics resonance groups as well I mean there there has there is a lot of things that we can do on that level but basically the first thing is that now um, denial is no longer an option which is which is fantastic which is beautiful so all the women out there who had the courage to expose and to share with vulnerability your experiences thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for voicing your truth thank you for daring to to speak out speak up <laughs> and uh, and voice something that has been sometimes held back in your heart in your system in your body as 
as a traumatic experience, as a, a wounding in your field. And so I want to tell you that me as a man and a lot of the men that I know in my field and men on this planet, lots of them are like, you know, honored to, to, to receive your message and, and hold space for that and uh, that we are listening. We are right here, we are listening. We are in this together, you know, this is not just your thing, something that is happening to you. No, it's happening to humankind. We are one. We want to evolve together. We've got to, you know, to solve challenges like this one together. Okay. If I missed anything or you have reflections on this, please post in the comments. I'm, I'm listening and uh, it's just an open conversation here, exploring the possibilities and exploring what all this is about. I love you.